Vital lessons learned as Arsenal suffer cup exits, but must they be so painful? Racinal and their young side are continuing to learn lessons under Mikel Arteta, but why do they have to be so painful? They went into Thursday night's Carabao Cup semi-final second leg against Liverpool, dreaming of a Wembley showdown with Chelsea, but they ended it with those hopes in tatters and a red card for Thomas Partey after he had dashed back from the Africa Cup of Nations to play. It's very disappointing because obviously when you have the final one game away, you have a level of excitement and you are really looking forward to it said Arteta. We really believed we could do it, we created an incredible atmosphere. It is a hard one to take. Arteta pointed out how Arsenal had their moments, but the issue was they all came in the opening 15 minutes. Sponsored they fizzed the ball around, and Trent Alexander-Arnold was having a torrid time against Gabriel Martinelli, while Alexander Lacazette struck the bar with a free kick. Diogo Jota's goal in the 19th minute sucked the life out of Emirates Stadium. Perhaps it was the scuffed finish which added to that, but the slick build-up to the goal was a reminder of the quality this Liverpool side have going forward. Arsenal never really recovered from that 19th-minute opener, as Jurgen Klopp's side put on a lesson in how to control a game. Like a champion boxer, Liverpool kept Arsenal at arm's length all night, eventually landing the knockout blow 13 minutes before the end, as Jota got his second. This time, the finish was exquisite as he dinked the ball over Aaron Ramsdale. Diogo Jota was on fire said Klopp. Since he is here he has made another step, he has turned into a really world-class striker. What Arsenal would give for a forward like Jota, and if they are to learn anything from last night's defeat, it is surely that reinforcements are needed before the January transfer window closes. Arsenal's preparations for the second leg were not helped by a fitness crisis, with Arteta revealing five or six players had not trained at all before playing, but the problems run deeper than that. Last night simply emphasized how Arsenal are in need of new blood, and the fact party got straight off a plane, following his trip back to London from the Afghan, to play shows how stretched they are. Arsenal have shown this month how they can at times go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big teams, as demonstrated by their narrow defeat by Manchester City and the 0-0 draw they claimed at Anfield last week. But everything needs to be just right for them, otherwise they are not quite at the level to compete with the best. The rollercoaster nature of their progress will continue, which is to be expected with a young side. Contrast that with Liverpool, who despite being without Mohamed Salah and Sadio Omain, found a way to win. When asked if Arsenal still have a way to go to compete against teams like Liverpool, Arteta said. You need to have a squad of 20 or 22 top outfield players, and to do that it takes time. Arsenal are building towards that, and additions this month, namely a midfielder and a striker, will help. Until then, 